No, today's February 12, 2022, so we're going to do basically kind of Cub Cadet restoration, but as you can tell, I kind of got most of it painted. And pretty much all of it's painted except the axle, but the engine's got the second coat on it, the little frame part here in the front got the second coat on. All the white has a second coat except for the the bottom half where on the top part of the dash. That's all been done. Gas tank's on the floor. It's got its second coat done. Um, the engine's done. Everything up here is done. Except the axle. That's the omen left the paint. Back here is all on its first coat. Everything up here is all done. I just do down here and down here. It's done for a second coat. The little cover piece goes on there is over there. It's on its it's done. I actually need to paint all this stuff up, but this paint takes like if you guys paint with uh where do I stick the can? Now oh, here's a can, it's junk, but it'll do. You can get this stuff at Tractor Supply or Royal King, but it's the it's Cub Cadet, so it is Cup Cadet Yellow. I gotta find the can thing, but uh, where is it? I know there's a can somewhere. Uh, I know there's a cap here. I just don't know where it is. Not, you know, yes, what I mean is the one I use, but that's one know, right? There's the color Cup Cadet Yellow. And this is the exact same color as my brother's tractor over there. Like all that yellow, it's the exact same color. So the white is the exact same color, I believe. I think it. I think it is the exact same color. But the only thing I've left to really paint is the hood. That's the only thing that has not even been touched yet. And the front axle and all the paint part will be done. And the little piece for the seat is. I'm gonna work on that. Um. I would show painting all this, but it kind of gets boring after. A minute of watching someone paint it just gets boring or else i would show painting but um but i could show you no oh, let's see where did i put my piece of sandpaper at because this whole this whole tractor hat i don't even know what the heck it was it was like moss or something but it was like this stuff and i had it was a painted some of it came off really easy with a brake cleaner and a rag some of it i had to sand off with the like 220 grit sandpaper which works really good it don't matter if you have this kind of sandpaper. I don't even know if it's this. Okay, there's 220. This will work. It don't matter if you have this sandpaper or that sandpaper. Like 220 or bigger. Because the bigger, if you guys don't know, the bigger, like 220 you think would be the more aggressive. But it's not. It's more light. And if like, you would think 60 grit's not as aggressive. It's really aggressive. So, why they did that, I don't know. But the smaller the sandpaper, the more... The more the sandpaper can sand, but the more the grit gets rougher. But so I don't really want to make this a 10 minute video of just watching me sand and paint stuff, but I'll do with something for some content. So you want to sand this, see how nice that stuff comes off. I had to do that to pretty much all of this. The mower deck's done enough. I just need to clear it, clear coat it, and it'll be done. It looks like shit, but it's a mower deck. I mean, it's just gonna get grass and shit all over it anyhow, so. Um. But now that I'm like, subject to this, I have a couple more, um, north spreading videos, because I did took like two last night, so. And there'll be like two more this week, so. Yeah, that side looks good, but. It just needs, probably wouldn't hurt to take a rag and wipe it off some more, but. You think it, it seems really bright on camera, but it's really not. It's like really dull. Like this, it looks, it looks really bright on camera, but in reality, it's not very bright. I mean, it's bright, but with the way the camera looks, it's, it looks really bright, but it's really not. It's like that. It's just like dull. Why that's bubbling up, I don't know, but everything back here I painted just like clearly coated, but hey, this just seems really bright, but it's really not. You can see some of the dirt on it. I'll take some of this and wipe it off. Just use your sleeve or hoodie that works perfectly. Um 
Can I set this on? I'm trying to think of somewhere to set this so I can paint it. I wasn't going to originally do the seat pan, but I'm like, well, I might as well do it right the first time. I'll go ahead and paint it. Um, here's the bracket for the seat. I guess I could paint them too. See if I can get paint all over the hood, not like it matters. I'm going to follow my can of paint. So, very thin paint. I wanted to do something instead of me sitting here talking about what the hell is going on. So, just paint her up like that. This, just to let you guys know, this paint takes like 12 hours to dry. So, it is, it's like for uh, 4, like 4.40 now, almost 5 o'clock. So, it won't be dry till like 5 o'clock in the morning. So, that's the reason why I kind of painted, I, a lot of this stuff I painted at like 10 o'clock last night. I came out at like lunchtime and it was, it was dry, so. It probably takes a little less than 12 hours, but I got a little bit on the hood, damn it. Oh well. Can't please everything, so. It doesn't, it doesn't turn out that bad. I just gotta do the hood yet. I can put a first coat on the hood. So this is like the little seat platform thing, but... You yeah, know, you can kind of see some spots on camera, but... It's a little easier to see on camera than what it is in real life, basically, but... Oh, uh, now I can't touch that till tomorrow morning, so. The gas tank's done. I just need to let it dry till probably a little while. The good thing is that the light dries pretty fast. I gotta get a hinge. So if you guys don't know, these tractors are notorious for the hinge breaking, which is what happened to mine. It didn't break all the way over the hood fell on the floor, but it was damn near close to that. So I just took it off and I'm like, well, I might as well just go ahead and paint the tractor since I have to get a hinge anyhow. So, I'm going to see if Lowe's has that hinge or Home Depot. One of them places ought to have that hinge, so. If not, I know you can get them on eBay, so. Oh, speaking of eBay. Here's the carburetor for this engine. It came with the carburetor itself. So it works. It came with a fuel filter. Fuel hose that I'd use a piece of already. This was like $30 on eBay. And... Some instructions, gaskets. These are all for different mowers. It's not just for this Cub Cadet. John Deere had this exact same engine. But I don't have to put that on once all the paint dries because it takes like I painted that this morning and it's still not dry, so I can't put the curb or anything together, so or I can't even put the coil back on because it's sitting over there, but the coil holder is sitting over here, so this engine is a K301. It's a cooler, if you can't tell by the logo right there. And I found out this tractor is a 71. So that engine's probably the, the original engine, but it runs good. It's just, it didn't, it ran like shit before because it needed a carburetor. The old carburetor's on the floor. I had to take it off so I could paint all around there. Because this was all gummed up with dirt and shit. And I'm like, well, I'm going to paint it. Because I painted underneath this cover, too. This cover I just put on, like, before I did the video. But the engine's done. We're just, I'm just waiting on it to dry. And I can put the carburetor on over here. Hook everything up. Hook the throttle up and everything else. And there's how your linkage goes on. Just take that out. It's 3 8 and just set it on the carburetor. I can, I, I can do a video on how to put a carburetor on. So The only thing I have left to paint is the part for the mower deck. In the yellow color, anyhow. I do have a snow plow. I just got to go get it. Um, I have a PTO clutch, too. I just got to go get it, too. So, everything's done. 
And I did my best I could with over here trying to not get overspray on everything, but. So, if you guys actually hear, well, you know what, we're already on this subject. I wanted to do a little history of Cub Cadet. So, those of you guys that don't know, whenever in like the late 40s or 50s, early 40s or late 50s, whatever you want to go by it as, whenever Pharma or IH, whatever you want to go by it as, had this series of a Pharma Cub, a Pharma A, an H, an M, then later on it came to be a bunch of different models, but so later on, after the Pharma Cub and International Cub were out of production, they just made the garden tractors, they just called them Cub Cadet, the smaller version of the Pharma Cub or IH Cub, whatever you want to go by it as. And later, well, then they made the Cub Cadet High Boy, which, or Low Boy, which is like the, it's, it's a little bit smaller than the Pharma Cub or any of the International Cubs. But they made them in like this exact same platform, just longer and bigger. But everything pretty much is the same with like a, I think it's like a four or three cylinder gas engine, but probably an IH engine, I don't know. But the body the style was on the same, this is the same on the low boy. It's like the exact same thing. Like your choke, your ignition, all that stuff is all the same. Except it just, it doesn't have a single cylinder gas engine. It just has like, three or four cylinder gas engine in it. But same exact setup, basically. With a lot bigger mower deck and a lot bigger uses, but anyhow. That was a little history for the Cub. I can go over more, but... Um, so that's it for this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one.